over on YouTube. Uh, today's video I wanted to talk about saving water, storing water and water quality um, and testing the quality of the water. Um, okay so we've got two glasses here and this is obviously a Britax water filter thing so we'll put some water in there and then what I'll do is I'll fill this one up from the tap So, what you'll see is, right, okay, so here we've got a nutrient monitor, it will measure EC, but um, my parts per million meters broken, but you'll get the idea of what's going on. Okay, nor is obviously pure water, okay, so 0, 0.0 would be pure water. Now, if we take the, um, the tap water, which was this one, what you'll see is what we get is 0.7 so that means there's 0.7 in the water ok now if we take the water that's gone through the water filter the Britax water filter which you assume is, is filtered the water but actually it hasn't really done much it's taken the, floor, uh, the, the, the chlorine out um, but as you see it's not actually taken any of the, uh, the salts out of the water this is measuring the resistance in the water so if there's no, if there's nothing in the water, the water can't conduct electricity. Pure water doesn't conduct electricity. So what it's saying to me is, the Britax filter doesn't actually do anything. Okay. Now what I also have is I have a reverse osmosis system, um, which I've been having problems with. So I had to order a new one. I broke some bits on it. Um, so anyway, in the bucket over here, I have the RO water. It's just starting to fill up. And what you'll see is normally it would be about 0 or 0.1, but because it's uh, the membrane's old and I've had to modify it, then it shouldn't be like this. It should have a, a pressure reservoir and everything. But I had a few problems. Uh, anyway, you can see that the difference, what we think is filtered water, the Britex filter, is not actually filtering much out in the whole scheme of things. Um, so the other thing I've been doing is these are my brewing barrels and what I was going to do was I was going to collect some water and store it in there. Um, so I've got one over here. So this is a 30 litre container with RO water in and then inside I put um, just a silver coin in there. So I was hoping that the silver coin might stop any uh, any bacteria or fungus or anything growing in there. So we can that can be an ongoing test. I'll check it in a couple of months and we'll see if the water's gone green. Um, yeah, so what I've done is I've ordered a new system um, because by the time I bought a new membrane and new filters and what happened was I had a leak and one of the, um, it has low and high pressure switches and uh, it, got, it just split. Anyway, we had a bit of a flood in the kitchen. Um, but by the time I replaced these valves and all the filters, um, it's working out just cheaper just to buy a new system with new filters in. Um, and I got it off eBay for £110 plus £10 postage. Um, and that's a five filter reverse osmosis system, um, just a standard system with the booster pump because you need a booster pump uh, to force it through the membrane. So, this is my uh, quick update today about storing water. Um, and like I say, these are my brewing barrels, which I normally use for brewing. So I'm just going to put water in them. I thought to myself, there's no point in them just being empty. I might as well have some water in there. Um, and then in the week, I'll get my new reverse osmosis system. And what we'll do is we'll test the, uh, the EC or the parts per million. And I think on the new one, it has um, a, like a parts per million gauge built into the thing. So you can you can just push the button and it will tell you how much. Um, all it is is is, uh, is conductivity of the water. That's all we're measuring. So you could do it with a multimeter if you wanted to. Um, so yeah, this is today's update of how we think the Britax water is filtered, but it's not really filtered. It doesn't actually take anything out. So that's something to be aware of when we all think, oh, I'm drinking lovely filtered water. Well, you're not, are you? Look, it's got a 
got 0.7 EC and that one's got 0.7 EC so that's gone that one went through the filter and this one's come out the tap if you taste it you'll taste the chlorine in the tap water but you won't taste it in there but really it hasn't actually taken very much of anything else out so that's something to be aware of, of how you think a water filter is filtering it but it's not really and how reverse osmosis is actually quite cheap I mean for 110 pounds um, the membranes last I think a year or two years the membranes are about 25 pounds, they're not too bad um, and I think they can produce up to 50 gallons if you get the smaller membrane or 100 gallons per day if you get the larger membranes so you can't wash with this water but you can uh, use it as drinking water Okay, this is Rainstorm signing off. You're traveling to another dimension. A dimension not only of sound, but of mind. This is not a new world or otherwise. It is simply an extension of what began in the old one. It has patterned a ripping imprint on the pages of history since the beginning of time. time, time, time.